When people hear Dragon Ball, many of them think about Dragon Ball Z, but this wasn't the original story that Akira Toriyama had in mind when he was creating Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is one of many series inspired by the book A Journey to the West. The Journey to the West inspired countless anime and countless manga. Here I have a few examples of some which you might know. The manga of the Monkey King, which really isn't all that popular, but it's just an adaptation of the story into manga, which really only shows its fights. We've got Sayuki, this one's pretty popular as well, and of course, one you may have heard of called Naruto. There are plenty of anime and manga out there which have been inspired to the journey to the west, but Dragon Ball is the most popular. The story that takes place within Dragon Ball Z is very different from anything that you would find in the Journey to the West because the series has taken many changes because it was extended numerous times due to its popularity. Dragon Ball is one of my favorite anime series because it has many lovable characters, a great story to it, and really great comedy as well. And whenever I think about the series, I think about a journey of a boy and his innocence, exploring the world and becoming stronger, meeting people and having an amazing ad adventure, but this wasn't the original concept for the series either. Recently, I found some old concept art from the manga of Dragon Ball to show what the characters were originally going to look like, and it looked like more of an adaptation of the Journey to the West instead of a story that was greatly inspired by it. Here we see Goku, which isn't a boy with monkey-like features that can transform into a giant monkey and destroy everything, we see an actual monkey here, so it looks like Goku was originally supposed to be a monkey as he was in the Journey to the West. We also have drawings of two of the other main characters, which are Bulma and Oolong. While in the Dragon Ball story, Bulma I would consider a main character, but Oolong is more of a side character, but in the original concept for the story, they were more important and they looked a lot different. You can actually see... A little bit of Launch in Bulma. You can see the picture that I have up here. To me, she looks a little bit like Launch. And we have Oolong, which isn't your cute little lovable pig which can shapeshift. He's actually this big, muscular looking pig. We see that the characters have major differences to the way they look, and I can imagine that the story would have been different as well. Because if the characters are that close to the way that you would imagine them being in the journey to the west, then I can imagine that the story would be somewhat similar as well. And to be honest with you, I'm glad that he made the changes, because the characters, the way that they are in Dragon Ball, are just lovable, they're great to watch, and they grow on you quickly. And I think that if Akira Toriyama stuck to his original concept for Dragon Ball, it wouldn't really be as popular because it isn't an original story which has influences from the journey to the west, it would be more of an adaptation into manga which would be popular but not nearly as popular as Dragon Ball was. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comments section below. What do you think about this concept art, the original design for Goku, Bulma, and Oolong, and what do you think this series would be like today if it had stuck with these original designs? Thank you for watching, and of course if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. I really appreciate all that. Thank you for watching, I'll see you later.